The incel stuff, like all of the related political points, touch on real issues, but then the people pick up on them with like absolutely batshit advocacy, right? Like there is real stuff to be said about male loneliness and about unfair judgment towards men's appearances and towards dating apps and towards like all this crap, you know? And then and then they pick it up and they, they're just insane about it, you know? And I find that very funny. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a funhouse mirror. Yeah, of actual relationship analysis, right? Where you correctly identify the problems and then you just, depending on the direction that you run off in, like you go, woo, and go crazy. A couple of days ago, we went over a video from Think Before You Sleep, the uh, female dating coach video, and I had a lot of fun. I had a good time, okay? And I thought we could do another, because I feel like it's very important. Now, apparently, I saw, I think I saw this in a Reddit comment, but apparently at some point this guy on Twitter actually said he's 17. So these videos are of an actual 17 year old. So this is basically like the bitter, like, I haven't had sex yet, and I think this is a problem with society rambling of, like, a, a young guy with half a million YouTube subs, you know? Like, that's what we've got here. We have all that energy, and then now we've exposed it to a huge audience. And the most recent video is why dating in 2022 sucks. So there you go. What's up? D oh, wait, hold on. You're going no, 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 hold on. I thought the, their ear shadow was sideburns for a second, and I was about to be so proud. You see, I thought this was like some like 50s grease or sideburn shit, like some Elvis. You see? The like dislike ratio? Yeah, people like it. Nobody dislikes videos anymore, because the dislike bar isn't even visible unless you have an add on like I do. So, like, people just like it if they like it. Anyway, all right, let's get a cut video. Let's go. <laughs> I just want to. You're going to be putting yourself out there by letting your date go through your phone before they meet you. Okay, she's gonna look through your phone first. I feel like he is- Fuck, wait, by the way, right off the bat. Fuck this, okay? Fuck, fuck that. Just saying. Thanks, Blue.BP. Just, just, fuck, just fuck everything about this. Right off the bat, absolutely not. Shorter than me? He has the weirdest in here. Dude, he screenshots everything. Like, it's just a slight bit creepy. Obviously, she thinks she's she's cute, that's for sure. All these mm -hmm. different angles and all that. Dude, he is... Oh, when I learned that this is how femoids do it... Hold on. When I learned this is how femoids do it, they'll take, like, 50 selfies and they'll choose the best one. It actually makes sense when you think about it, because when you're taking a selfie, it's it's difficult to like get the perfect angle yourself. So you take a bunch and then whichever one looks the best you were. Yeah, like that makes sense. Yeah, it's just um, not just females. Sorry, not just females. People who actually care about how they look. Yeah. Um, and I've never done this. You know, I just. <laughs> yeah, that's how everyone does this. Self-report. This is not how autistic men like myself do this. OK. She's cute, that's for sure. All these different angles and all that. Dude, he is so judgy. <laughs> like, I was nice to him. Man, if I could have followed this clip with her saying, I'm so wonderful, why won't anyone date me? That would have been the perfect self-awareness fail. I know I only showed one clip of him compared to the three clips I showed of her, but what? everything he said about her was so mild. He even compliments her. Wait, wait, what, wait, what, what even happened? Wait, wait, what even happened to warrant... The reaction here, like, it's a whole cut video, and he pulled one five-second clip of her being like, I don't know, this is weird. And that... Okay. I have no idea, yeah. I I've said this before, but, like, this channel... So now I know that this kid's 17. This kid... Okay, we've all known people who are like this. Like, when they're young and embittered. Like, young embittered guys who can't get laid or whatever. Or they're, they just get, like, really angry at, like, women existing. This channel is to get angry at women existing. Like, nothing in this channel makes sense at all. Like, it's completely... It just, it's completely disconnected from reality. Unless you have a pre-existing hatred of women. In which case, everything here just exists to make you go like... Ugh, you know, like, get really seethingly angry at it, you know? That's about it. Oh, hey, Shu, perfect timing. Where, uh, this is, a uh, 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 primo incel content. I'm sure she's fantastic. He actually does this multiple times during the video while she fails to give him a single compliment that didn't have some caveat to it. Oh wait, listen to this. 
What do you look for in a partner? Um, someone that's also open and honest. Actions speak louder than words. I'll what? What? Wait, wait, again, what? Wait, what did she do that wasn't open and honest? Wait, we're just seeing, like, random clips taken. What did she do that wasn't open and honest? I don't... I, I don't... I don't understand. What, what, what happened? What, what did she do? A lot of people like her say they want honesty when they don't actually want it, which is why they don't what? end up with partners who are honest. This chick got offended when all the guy said was, wow, she takes a lot of photos of herself. Imagine what would happen... Didn't... Didn't the guy say a lot of stuff that wasn't included in the video that he's sharing? Like, he only just randomly picked a few segments of the cut video to look at. Like, the... Yeah, right, Shu? No, 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 like, Shu, these videos are insane. They make no sense unless you hate women. Like, that's the only thing that... Tra it's like completely meaningless otherwise. Um... Yeah, there's there's no incongruity here. And if someone started digging into her real flaws, like how narcissistic she is, or imagine if he had made negative comments about appearance factors that she can't change, like she did when she called Austin short. Anyway, this video was done by Cut, okay. a YouTube channel that makes a lot of content based on people being. So far, I just don't understand what's happening. I don't. I don't follow. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't even know. I'm. Listen, I'm pretty defensive of like people errantly making fun of short guys or whatever, but I don't even think she said anything mean. And by the way, if she had said something fucked up, we would know it because he would have clipped that, right? Like, I know we didn't see everything she said, but if she said something really bad, he would have clipped that out of the cut video. So he chose the worst thing she said, and it was her being, oh, he's shorter than me, and oh, this is kind of creepy, haha. <laughs> but he clipped out the context of what she was saying was creepy, so we don't even know. Okay. ...in super direct with each other, which makes their dating videos very entertaining. In this video, Chloe and Austin are going to meet for the first time. Oh, thank you, Pluto94. Really appreciate that. Yeah, probably. This channel's gonna get big. Well, it's already big, yeah, but I want to cover more of this, because it's really funny. ...time by looking through each other's phones. Would you worry about your date seeing on your phone? I didn't really have a chance to, like, delve through my photos at all. Well, that was a mistake. I know the turnaround times for these internet shows is like one or two days, but I can imagine that if I was going on a channel with millions of subscribers to film a video that might get millions of views, I would curate my phone immediately. The yes. All of my centaur hentai, um, I'd have to move it from my phone photos to, to my computer. The way the rest of this works out is one person will look at the phone, while the other person is in a separate room with headphones on, listening in. Chloe goes first. Let's watch. So we, so we are getting more of the video. Okay, okay. That's true. If they don't like the centaur hentai, they're not the one. That is true, Shu. You know. The, the, the internet does eventually respect kings who are confident about their weirdo bullshit. Like, if, so, if the girl was flipping through his phone, and it's like, wow, this is just hundreds of photos of anime boy Bishinin horses railing Bishin and girl what is this and the guy's the, the camera's on the guy and the guy's just like yeah yeah i, wa I want to be a horse yeah what's wrong with that like that that's the king shit you know people will respect that i respect that i say do you want to say hi hi hey hi he says hey try not to drop my phone he says try not to drop my phone okay well, we should have put a protector on it great they haven't even started and the date is already over he well i i guess it's over <laughs> What? <laughs> what she do? It's a joke. Yeah, uh, like the the guys who are like women of no sense of humor can't tell. Like they can't tell when women make jokes. So it's like a self reinforcing. I, I probably would have said the same thing. Like if somebody said that, oops, should 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 have gotten a protector. I think it does have a protector too. Okay. He communicates that he doesn't trust her by insinuating that she would drop his phone, and what? instead of making a joke of it because this is someone what? she just met. She gets offended. <laughs> he's, he's got, he has no social skills at all. This guy can't read anything. This guy's uh this guy this guy requires like the the social equivalent of braille, you know? Like he he has Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. No, no, yeah. I said this before shoot, but it reminds me of Teal Deer, where he'll pause every like Eight nanoseconds on an Anita Sarkeesian video to like wildly misinterpret everything being said very arrogantly, you know, autism squared. Yeah, look, keep in mind, 
if this was just some random, are we being ableist IRL? You can be ableist to people when their videos get this many views, okay? That's the rule. <laughs> All right, that's, that's how it works. Yeah, no bullshit as well, yeah. More so in the tone of her voice. She could have said pretty much those exact words jokingly, which would have diffused the situation and made things way more fun. Oh my god. So both of them failed here. Good interactions generally don't start with negativity. But honestly, I think that was kind of the point of this social experiment, which is why I cut frame the date in a way that they knew would cause drama. That's, that's crazy. These internet shows aren't about actually, like, showcasing a relationship between two people in a way to maximize the health and development of the two. It's, it's about entertainment. Why don't you go to the photo so you can see what he looks like? Okay. I'm um, just looking at selfies right now. Okay, see what he looks <coughs> like. So they know nothing. So these are two strangers. Okay, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he, he works out. He's at a gym or maybe like a home gym. Yeah, I have a sweet home gym set up. He says he works out. Yeah, a little bit, it looks like. You can tell she's not impressed by the tone of her voice. When the guy from Cut said he says he works out, she <laughs> responded, yeah, a little bit. We, yeah, like. we heard, yeah. Versus something more positive like, yeah, a little bit, it looks like. See how the tonality... <laughs> what? <laughs> Again, it's just because it's a woman saying it. That's literally, it's it, like, if a guy, okay, I'm just saying, if I was looking through, if I was in there, if I was in the Thunderdome, and there was a, I was looking through a chick's photos or whatever, and it's like, oh yeah, she says she works out, and I'm like, yeah, a little. Like, I'm pretty sure people, the incel crowd would be applauding me, you know, putting that femoid in her place. I'm just saying, I don't know. He changes what she means, and this is the exact reason why I think people should stop using dating apps. Meeting someone on a computer removes what? tons of context, and that seems to pretty consistently frame potential relationships negatively. For one, people get overly judgmental about appearance because it's the only real useful information that these apps provide. I feel like I agree with that. But I don't know what that has to do with the cut internet video. That's just about, like, Tinder and stuff. But I agree, yeah, it's a very superficial way of streamlining the dating process. But, but this is for entertainment. This, this is a show. Okay. I feel like he is shorter than me. He looks like he is anywhere from 5'7 to 5'10, maybe 5'10. This is definitely the worst part of dating apps. Yes, height is an important factor for women, and I think it's perfectly fine for her to say that she doesn't want to date someone who she thinks is too short. Uh-oh. However Whoa. Can't believe this guy's a misandrist as well. Oh my god. Look at, look at him giving the woman permission right off the bat to engage in height phobia. Can you believe this guy? What a white knight. However, he's not that much shorter than her. I'm not 5'7", I'm not 5'8". I'm like 5'9 and a quarter, so. <laughs> and a quarter? Okay. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, I need to quit. I, we're gonna not fuck with our beard this whole goddamn video, okay? Um, you shouldn't say, you shouldn't say in a quarter, okay? I just, five foot nine and a quarter is shorter than five foot nine. How tall are you? Sorry. I'm 5'10". Oh yeah, she would tower right over me. <laughs> At least he's willing to make a joke of it, but he's only an inch shorter. Tons of women out there are okay with dating a guy who is two or three inches shorter, which is within Austin's range. Uh -huh, Everyone uh -huh. has those little gray areas of things they will accept that are outside of their preferences. Okay. What makes people go against their physical preferences? A person's personality. Per this is true. People are way more judgy about physical gatekeeping when they don't know who the person is. But if you know who a person is and you like them and their personality, people are usually way more willing to be permissive of like different appearance things or whatever. That's totally true. Yeah. Personality is a huge factor in attractiveness that can make a person's score go up or down. And it's completely missing from most of the vetting in dating apps. Mm -hmm. All you get are a couple of pictures and a few lines about who they are and what they want. You don't get to hear the tone of their voice, you don't get their body language or mannerisms, uh -huh. and you don't really get traits like sense of humor. If Austin and Chloe first met in person and- Help, I'm confused, he's retarded, but he's right sometimes in this video. No! That's what I like about this channel! That's what I like about the incel stuff. The incel stuff, like all of the related political points. Um, touch on real issues, but then the people pick up on them with like absolutely batshit advocacy, right? Like, there is real stuff to be said about male loneliness and about unfair judgment towards men's appearances and towards dating apps and towards, like, all this crap, you know. And then and then they pick it up and they, they're just insane about it, you know. And I find that 
very funny. Yeah, it's like a it's like a funhouse mirror. Yeah, of actual relationship analysis, right? Where it's ba it's it's like you 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 correctly identify the problems, and then you just depending on the direction that you run off in, like you go woo and go crazy, absolutely crazy. Instead of over a screen, and he made her laugh, she might be completely willing to forget her preference for a taller guy. For example, here's a video where three girls did a speed date with a tall guy and a short guy several times, and the short guys won more often than the tall guys did because of their personalities. Damn. Anthony? Oh, yes. I feel like you are extremely attractive. You've got that going on, but you haven't had to really develop your personality much. Personality-wise, Brent... <laughs> Brent was bringing it today, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who can make you laugh, and he kind of seemed more honest. Brent, I think you might have won this round. <laughs> this is why uh, people who are ugly in high school, shout out, um, do way better with women later in life, okay? Once you grow into it, like once you, once you, once you find your fit, you uh you have years of experience having to be funny to compensate for not being super attractive. That's why hot people are boring. Unironically, like if you ever wonder, like why are all these hot people super vapid and boring? It's because they get a lot of social affirmation without having to put any work in. That's the reason why. Like there are of course hot people who are funny, and there are absolutely ugly people who are not. But just generally speaking, like I think every I I feel like being less superficial in a social sense can be helpful not only because it'll make people like less judgmental but also because it'll encourage everyone to develop on their personality and social skills, which is a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, God, it's good. Brent, I might chill with you, because you sound like you're a little freak. Yeah, I, I might, I might, <laughs> I might, I might go out with you. The last girl picked the tall guy, but do you see how much of a difference that can make? Both the girls said they wanted a tall guy when they started. I definitely like tall men for like you have to be significantly taller than me height does everything for me i mean i'm thinking about breeding like naturally all right right into it huh <laughs> right right into it let's let's go as a woman i'm thinking about okay can this man have my babies and is he gonna give me strong strapping son wow this is like a evolutionary psychologist wet dream right here Hello, female. What are you attracted to? Well, I'm attracted to a large and strong male so that they will give me strong children. Okay. Yes, well, you know, if she, if she knows what she wants. It's... Without this contextual information during your first experience of the person, everything just becomes about who is most physically attractive with no consideration for the personality traits that make people attractive. Those same personality traits that tell you that you're a fit for a specific person much better than appearance does. Removing that context is why you are getting tons of superficial and garbage relationships from- I will say, though, to defend women, and I know, I know, but to defend women, I will say, in my experience, when talking to normies, and I'm not saying that I do this, like, with hundreds of people or whatever, but from my experience, if you ask women what they're into, I feel like most women will say something like, ha ha ha, and like a nice, funny guy who will treat me right. And I feel like if you ask a lot of guys what they're into, they'll be like someone who's hot and skinny, you know, like I like obviously that's not exactly a regressive analysis on the situation. But I feel like a lot of guys are still pretty superficial and a lot of chicks are just like. I want a nice guy, you know what I mean? Nice, funny guy, I feel like is the is the, the it's like the the, the the big determiner there. Um. From dating apps. Okay, enough of my rant on Tinder. Let's get back to the show. It's it's just it's so variable. It's so variable. Not hard to disagree. It's exactly even. No, no, no. I'm not saying that it's slanted more with men being superficial. I'm only saying that like this happens a lot, right? the The difference is I I don't think that men are as interested in women's personalities because they've been socialized in a really fucked way. So I feel like if you had that dating show where you had two chicks. And one of them is like, um, like kind of flat, L like, like, like not ugly or whatever, just like doesn't, ha not super curvy. And then you had another chick who's like stacked, but the stacked chick was like kind of mean. I feel like a lot of guys would side with that. I, I, I don't know, man. There's just, there's a lot of variety here. People like superficiality and not caring about personality are a broad problem. That's, that's all, you know, I just, I don't think it's like a super gendered thing in the sense that like men or women do it like far far more wouldn't that happen with girls too no that's my point it happens all over okay just move on just uh um he has lots of pictures of girls 
on here. Lots of screenshots. He has the weirdest shit in here. Like there's a picture of a girl on a bike with her ass out. Austin, why are you taking screenshots of- Wait! That was what she was saying was creepy. He's taking screenshots of Insta girls. Okay. That wait, okay, so there was missing context, see? I'm not saying it makes you like a psycho or whatever, but like if I was scrolling through like a normie's phone and they just had like Insta thirst trap girl pictures on there, like yeah, I don't I don't know, you know. On here. Lots of screenshots. He has the weirdest shit in here. Like there's a picture of a girl on a bike with her ass out. Austin, why are you taking screenshots of women with their butts out? Uh, pops up on my feed. Maybe I want to share it with my uh, fellow brethren. Okay. No, hold on. See? I told you there'd be missing context, didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I did. I did tell you. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. He has those pictures for research purposes. Nothing else. Now, remember, he did say that he didn't clear out his pictures before this video. If this clothed picture that I can't show because of YouTube's inconsistent monetization policy is the worst he has, then his pornography use is probably pretty tame. If pornography use is something that offends her and it sounds like it does because she meant- I am more weirded out by it being screenshots of Instagram girls that have- it's their faces than if it was just porn. You know? Cause that to me, it's very- it's like- it's like people who jerk off to Facebook profile photos. Like, technically, p Facebook profile photos aren't pornographic. At least they can't be according to Facebook's TOS. But I feel like it's way weirder than just going like, oh yeah, I go look for like, like, triple penetration porn, jerk off to that. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, obviously. Yeah. You know? Like, think about this situation though, Vosh. You're texting a friend, I met with a cute girl, then say, what does she look like here? I'll take a screenshot, then you send it. Yeah, but if that was the case, wouldn't he have said, like, he was like, oh yeah, I went on a date with this random Instagram girl, and here's what she looks like. I think he was just screenshotting, like, hot girls on Insta, right? Like, if the context was, like, why do you have screenshots of girls on your phone from Insta? And he's like, oh yeah, well, I met up with some of these girls, so I wanted to, sh like, screenshot them so I could, like, show my mates or whatever. Like, that would make more sense, because then there would be, like, a definite reason, but I don't think that's what it is. Yeah. Mentions him wanting to look at other girls a lot, then this guy is probably a pretty decent pick. Anyway, that's everything interesting that happens with Austin's phone. Let's move on. No, notice how the guy running this video doesn't understand why it's kind of weird or why the girl might say it's creepy to like screenshot. Yeah, like, a, like of course he wouldn't, right? Yeah. On to Chloe's. Are you ready for him to go through your phone? Yeah, my phone is like mild. <laughs> I'm to weird, that. My videos are scripted, so obviously I've seen the whole cell phone date by the time you're hearing me speak. So let me just say that her phone definitely has more damning material in it than Austin's does. Oh. Do you want him to start going through your phone? Go for it. Your battery's low as fuck. Charge your phone. It's all in red. This bitch about to die on me. Uh -oh. <laughs> she does the whole like personalization thing with like, what are these called? Widgets? Yeah, it's cute. It's kind of basic. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, didn't this dude open the video by saying the guy didn't say anything negative about her? That was his opening argument. Like, look at how mean she is to him, and look at how not mean he is to her. And his opening fucking comment is that it's basic to like customize your phone. I thought it was cute. Jesus Christ. Why did he lie? I know why he lied. Yeah, he's negging to get the um the tussy. That's tall pussy. Oh my god, he's hella rude. What? what? Man, he just goes right for it. Huh? He's right. That is super basic. <laughs> The chick makes a joke, and she's like, uh, well, you should have put a protector on your phone, I wouldn't drop it. And he's like, I can't believe she would do this. And he <laughs> Okay, how are widgets basic? I have no idea. It's- this guy's just mad at women. Yeah, okay. Obviously, these two have no chance with each other, so the rest of this is just going to be about the drama. Yeah. yeah. Not to say that she didn't deserve this behavior from him. The whole time she looked through his phone, she didn't say a single positive thing. Outside of this backhanded compliment. Okay, so he looks cuter in his Hinge profile than he does, like, in his personal selfies. Yeah, he looks cute when he doesn't suck at taking photos. Compare that to Austin's commentary. Let's just start with Instagram. I don't think we can ever trust the content of this video based on his description that he doesn't show. Because he will, like, 
flagrantly lie about and mischaracterize even the shit he does show, right? Like, for all we know, in the original cut video, which I am not going to watch because I do not care, like, everything that he doesn't show plays out way differently or whatever. But, you know, it's 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 impossible to say. I, I just, I don't care. It's just so weird how he characterizes the stuff that does get shown on screen. I don't quite understand how saving pics of a post someone posted is bad. I'm confused. It's not that it's bad. I personally... Look, listen, okay? Being weird is like a really big spectrum. I'm not saying you're a fucking serial killer. But, like, screenshotting hot girls on Insta... Like, I don't know. Like, to me, it's like... Like, you scrolling through your phone, it's like, oh, I remember this girl from Insta. I don't know. It's just... It's not that it's necessarily weird. It's just that there's a degree of what feels like unrequited intimacy there. For the same reason that if a person had, like, a phone archive of Facebook profile pics of girls in bikinis, like, that would be really weird to me. Like, they're, they're profile pics. Like, obviously, they're meant to be seen. But if, you, if you're, like, saving a bunch of, like, Facebook profile pics to your phone, you're like, oh, look at all these hot girls. It's like, I don't know. There's, there's just, it's just weird social stuff. It's not, like, a super hard line or whatever. It doesn't make you a bad person. Yeah, I just, yeah. Also, his answer to why he had those pictures did kind of sound like he masturbates to them. and. I will say this, taking screenshots of Instagram girls is like a little weird, but like whatever. Masturbating to pictures of Insta girls' faces is psychotic and you are a serial killer, okay? That, is, that you are a serial killer if you're masturbating to the faces of fully clothed women. Godspeed, God be with you. Uh, athlete, founder of Define Beauty Brand. Is that like your personal business or mm -hmm. it is oh neat that's kind of cool see how his demeanor is different from hers she trashed him the entire time but at least he said hey that's cool she has a he actually he can he not read tone of voice wait what was the tone of voice from the guy was like pretty condescending athlete founder of define beauty brand is that like your personal business or mm -hmm. it is oh neat well, just, his, his tone is clearly deriding here. Okay. I see. And, and the insult dude is like, ah, well, see, at least he's nice and his tone is good, unlike the time the woman said the obvious joke. Cool. Okay. See how his demeanor is different from hers? She trashed him the entire time, but at least he said, hey, that's cool. She has a business. That's and what he said. his compliments didn't have footnotes like hers did. <laughs> now, I'm a little older than him, so I know that when someone puts founder... Wait. It's like hers did. Now, I'm a little older than him, so I know that when... Wait, didn't, it, didn't he say he was 17 on the thing? Because the dude in the video is definitely not, like, 16 or whatever. Um, is he lying here, or was my info wrong? Can we just agree that this guy, no matter what his actual age is, is spiritually 17? The guy who made this video? Someone puts founder of Define Beauty Brand in their profile, there's like a 99% chance that they don't run a successful business. Seeing that I can't find this alleged brand anywhere on Google, it probably means it's not successful. Maybe? I, I, I guess, yeah. When is the cut video from? I don't know... I, I don't know anything about Instagram formatting. This might be, like, from older... Or it could be, like, local? Hold on. Define beauty brand. I see definebeautycompany.com. Though I have no reason to believe this is the same thing. And if it is, then it seems like a pretty professionally... Let me see. Instagram. My beauty. No, probably not the same person. Though it could be. I don't know anything. About anything. My head is empty. People are saying it's an MLM. Like she started a multi-level marketing. Oh, the link is in her Insta. I like I don't. I, it doesn't really matter how good the brand is. All right. Well, she's got like a little thing here. I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. It just doesn't matter. Why does it matter? Also, looking at her Instagram, she might be the only person in history to ever lose followers after being in a video with 3.7 million views on it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's a different account, which would be a terrible branding mistake on her. What? 
What I, I okay, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna let this run through because everything that this guy is saying is is psychotic. Let's just run through to whatever point he's trying to make. Her part. She has a TikTok where she lip syncs other people's content. What? Very creative. Can you imagine living with the hate this guy carries in his heart? It's TikTok. That's literally what you that's the main thing that you do on TikTok. Like That'd be like me watching this video and going like, wow, this guy's commenting over other people's YouTube videos, which is what he's doing. And is also, by the way, what I'm doing. TikTok was made for that. The, the, the whole app is, is designed. Wh why? He's like going out of his way to like attack this woman and can't even find anything to attack her for. So it's like, huh, lip syncing on TikTok? Pathetic. Oh, look, she's a yoga teacher. Okay. Now I know she's definitely not successful. I was in that industry almost. What is with this guy? Are we angry at the females? They, this guy is is seething at at women. He's he's like a he's like a a character in like a, a, a like a comedy show or something. You know. Nobody makes good money as a yoga teacher. Also, when she was okay. looking at Austin's phone, she said that she was a trainer. That job has a massive turnover rate, and again... What? Okay, we're, we're like, full-on... We're going to start getting a lecture on her split ends in the, in the video. They feel like they have to milk every second of the video for content, so they get very petty and specific for no reason. Yeah, though, it's very, it's very uh, telling where they decide to milk the content, right? You know, like, he's going to start, like, looking at individual frames of the video to look at her pores and be like, Wow, what kind of fitness and beauty instructor... <laughs> has visible pores on their cheek from this distance. What's the what's the what's the focal lens of this of this camera? <laughs> yeah, it's very unimpressive, yeah. And almost nobody succeeds in it by comparison to the number of people who try. Fitness picks, she's feeling herself. Yep. She got yep. Yeah, she's yoked. They're bigger than you. <laughs> she could beat the shit out of me for sure. <laughs> Wait, did she just spend all that time commenting on how offended she was by the pictures of women in his phone? When she stores a bunch of pictures of her ass and hers? Curious. <laughs> he, 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 might as well, he might as well have said, like, he, he, he thought it was creepy, or she thought it was creepy he had photos of Instagirls on his phone, but she has photos on her phone at all? <laughs> what a hypocrite. <laughs> How lacking in self-awareness could she be? I love this channel. Holy shit. It gets even better. Now, unfortunately, again, puritanical YouTube will probably punish me if I show the other photos she takes of herself. But trust me, those photos are much worse than the stuff that she complained about. They're, they're, they're selfies. They're, they're photos of herself. Worse? It, I, I have my dick pics on my phone. I feel like a lot of people have nudes of themselves on their phone. Like, if you've ever taken and sent a nude, you have them on your phone. ...about on his phone. I'll show the clip for context, but I have to censor it. So if you want the full context, you can just watch the actual video from Cut. Oh, I see some ass. Oof. There's a lot of skin going on here. This was actually a pleasant surprise for me. I thrive on hypocritical gotcha moments. Holy shit. I, he, he, he thinks this is a gotcha. He... Okay. And her hypocrisy with the photos right there was just perfect. Here's something that doesn't- this is, this is like a picture perfect of every person who catches me out in my hypocrisies, you know? They're like, huh, you think people deserve health care, but you also support Ukraine in their defense against Russia. Bet you feel pretty stupid now, Vosh. And the answer is yeah, I do. All the time. On this godforsaken platform. I, I, I doesn't make sense to me though. There are two things that Chloe is here for. One, she's here to possibly go on a date, and two, she's obviously here to promote her Instagram because she said her full name, whereas Austin didn't. Hi, my name is Austin. My name is Chloe Holdridge. And she has. Is that? Is that? <laughs> Okay, I mean, self-promotion is, is kind of the point of going on internet shows, right? I mean, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Cut gets these people from social media. 
Like, there's a reason why when you look at internet shows, like, they're not normies. Like, basically any time you see a person on Cut or Jubilee or whatever, they have a large social media account. They're big on Insta, or they're big on YouTube, or they're big on Twitter, or something like that. Like, yeah, that happens every time. The guy probably does something on social media as well. I doubt they just got him off the street. Have them show her Instagram account with all her information. What's odd about this is that judging by the photos on her Instagram that I can show of her, she at least has some fashion sense. So uh, why is she dressed up like it's laundry day for this video? I think this guy's ever met a chick that he, that he like had a pro that he was like okay with that he didn't have a problem with. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a shirt. Yeah, if she wore something nice, he would say she's trying too hard to like rep her fashion brand or something. Oh, this is supposed to be a first date. Though considering that Austin isn't dressed that well either, I'm not really sure how committed they are. They're not wearing- they're not wearing fedoras. <laughs> He's not wearing a fedora. Why- why is Austin dressing with swag instead of class? Why is he dressed like a swagger? And why is the female not wearing an, uh, an ankle cut dress? I ask you. <laughs> not classy enough. This is- this is a fashion channel now, boys. But still, they both knew they were going to be on film, so why did they, especially her considering that she's here to promote her brand, dress so poorly? I mean, obviously she thinks she's, she's cute, that's for sure. All these different angles and all that. Dude, he is so judgy. <laughs> like, I was nice to him. He's being super tame with his feedback, and she can't even handle that. Tame with his feedback? Well, okay. It is absolutely insulting to say, wow, she thinks she's cute. There's no- if the- if- if she had said that while looking through his selfies, this guy would have had a fucking aneurysm at his computer chair, okay? I don't- yeah, okay, just- oh god. It's, it's, I just want to know why dating in 2022 sucks, okay? I just want to learn. I want to learn today. The most hilarious thing about this is that she's trying to be a professional TikToker and Instagram model. Chloe, take it from someone who makes a lib- Wait, professional TikToker? Wait, wait, based on what? Because she has a TikTok? I... Well, okay. I mean, in the field that you want to be in, if you can't handle mildly negative feedback, then you don't belong on the internet. I love it when the most fragile guys in the universe cross their arms and they're like, heh, if you can't, if you can, this is what the internet is like. If you can't handle it here, maybe you don't belong here. Like this, this really is the, um, while you were out partying, I studied the blade. While you were out getting drunk and having sex, I was learning the, the 4chan etiquette code. It's like bullshit, you know? It's just, it's, it's just incredibly soy. It's just unbelievably soy. Yeah, if this guy is such an internet warrior, do you think he'd say yes to a debate? You know what, wait, hold on. Okay, God, it's I, hold on. I, I followed him on Twitter the last time we did this. Let me, like, send him a DM right now. Okay, hold on. What was the, um, what was the DM that we sent to the other person? It was like, hey, I disagree with this, that, and the other. Can I just copy-paste it? It was, it was with what if old history, right? Can I just copy-paste that? I'm, like, super lazy. When did I, when did I send that? I wish I had a, wish I had a better memory. Um, so is it this? I just want to copy paste it. Okay, I'll stop. I'm being lazy. I'm not going to copy paste it. Let me just follow. Let me just go to my follows. Um, Spurn. No, not this person. Wait, who is this person? Who is this person? Oh, you you found the original? Wait, what? Who? Who is this person? Okay, this is some different thing. I don't know who this person is. Let me let me find. Okay, go back far enough. Um. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna message them. Okay, I'm gonna copy paste from this. Hello, I saw your video 
on dating in 2022 and I had some serious issues that would you like to come on and discuss at some time? There we go. Probably won't work. This guy doesn't give me debate vibes. Okay. As an influencer, based on what I've seen of your content, you aren't a good creator and you are far too narcissistic to listen to the kind of feedback from people that will help <laughs> you build the skill required to be a success. It tastes exactly like Teal Deer. It's like, they'll like clip three seconds of a woman talking and then d d go on like a two hour rant about how like her, her personality means that she's unfit for life or something. Something else instead of wasting years of your life failing at this. Like be a nurse. That's a pretty lateral move from fitness. Nurses also make a ton of money and they have a lot of flexibility in their schedules. I stress that last part because of this. What else do you see in her photos? What do you mean what else? Saw her. <laughs> and some babies. <laughs> <laughs> Are these yours? You got a kid? Yes, I have a son. She has a son. You got a whole baby? Do you have any kids? No. I still live with the parents. I, oh, f I know people are going to crap on him for living with his parents, but come on. She has a kid and a job that- Wait, if she said she lived with his parents, this guy would go on a 20-minute rant about how her financial irresponsibility made her unworthy of a partner. If- if the ch I'm by the way, no hate on the guy for living with his parents. I'm just saying that if she said it, this guy would go in a whole fucking tirade. Wow, guess her fist fitness business isn't doing that well. Guess being an Instagram TikTok star isn't doing that well, huh? Wow, how like I just God, the logic here. Definitely doesn't make her a living. She probably lives with her parents too. Holy shit! He did it anyway! He didn't even He He heard the guy say I live with my parents, and he was like, okay, well, uh, well, she must too. Like, he was, he had to make it about her. Holy shit. This guy could be like, yeah, I like, um, yeah, I'm like a total deadbeat. I don't leave my house. And he's like, wow, from all the selfies this woman takes, I mean, is she doing any better? Holy shit. Now, for me, this whole thing was over the minute I saw her wearing that concert t-shirt to a first date. <laughs> Not dressing nice says that you don't care. <laughs> It's the fucking incel forum, the YouTube channel, dude. Elbows too pointy. Elbows too goddamn pointy. What's wrong with a band t-shirt? What is the this is this is literally I guarantee you, this is like the class versus swag thing, okay? This is 100 percent like the guy should wear a three-piece suit to the to the to the carnival. And the the girl should wear like some yeah, 1950s dress or whatever. But she also has a kid? Hard pass. Provided that she's not widowed, which I doubt she is, this means that she either destroyed that relationship with her own toxic behavior. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Yeah, like I said, for for all these guys, they posture as like the intellectual logic lords or whatever. Like there's absolutely nothing here. It's literally just empty hatred of women like just fan fiction being written out massive screeds yeah or she is terrible at picking good mentally stable relationship partners there we go see either it's her fault or it's also her fault because the guy was bad so th there's no it's literally not possible for it to not be her fault if it was her behavior it was her fault and if it was the guy's behavior, is because she wasn't able to pick that out and avoid it. Like, the guy could have, like, raped her and turned out to be a psycho or whatever, but it would still be her fault because she, she, she wasn't able to pick up on that beforehand, you know? There's no universe where the guy can be at fault here. It also means that she is likely irresponsible with contraceptives because she looks young, and I doubt that this kid was planned. Wait, isn't... Isn't a willingness to have children a component of the trad wife fantasy that incels fantasize about? Uh, okay. We just apps just complete fan fiction on this woman. Just absolutely nothing else. Just completely constructed. Would you ever date someone who has a kid? Uh probably not, no. Why not? I'm a child myself. <laughs> I'm sure she's fantastic. Guys don't want that kind of baggage, and before all the this guy, by the way, nothing against the guy in, in, the, in the video, by the way. The Austin, there's nothing, nothing against what he just said, okay? But, like, notice how every time the guy says something that the, the incel would go in on for if the girl had said it. Like, instead, it's actually a point to his credit. You know what I mean? Single mothers watching this have a meltdown. 
I've talked to women before about this subject. I've talked to I've talked to many women. <laughs> before anyone gets angry at the wildly unfounded misogyny that I'm about to vomit onto this YouTube channel, I have in fact spoken to women before, so don't worry. I'll talk to my mom about it. Women who don't have kids generally don't want guys with kids from a previous relationship either. So you don't get to create your own baggage and then insist that a guy without baggage has to date you. She 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 didn't. She didn't do that. She, she didn't do that. That didn't, that didn't happen. Basically, you should be sticking to guys who are also single parents. Let's just, I'll go, I'll go f***ing in. Just go. Dating app for a dating app. Let's, Let's go. I got two likes in the queue. John, looking like an idiot, liked your photo. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm messing with this dude right now. Hey, cutie. <laughs> you plus me tonight. Does he also have a kid? Hey, kid for kid. There you guys go. You guys can have like dates to kids. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I have to say, I would be quite irritated if this happened and she's taking it remarkably well. Or I'm waiting to see how this gets made to be her fault, by the way. Um, I don't know if like she did the same thing on his phone, in which case like that would be on her for starting or whatever, but like she's just laughing it off, so. How ironic. Judging by the way she reacted, she doesn't want the single dad. Seeing how how <laughs> what what ba ba based on the heart rate and perspiration that I witnessed in that brief clip, I was able to discern the variety of very unflattering beliefs that she has about Jews. <laughs> yes, based based on this clip of her laughing, I think it's very clear that she would have sided uh, with the Third Reich. I. Uh. A little self-awareness Chloe had during this entire video, I doubt she understands that this guy she doesn't want is the kind of guy who is at her level. And by the way... There it is. This is, um, Incel Logic 101. When women aren't rhapsodiously, devotedly interested in a guy, they get really angry because they see in that behavior every rejection they've ever suffered or imagined they've suffered. Almost always it's imagined they've suffered. Um, and uh, uh, they get really angry at the woman because they feel like the woman's high standards are ruining the dating game for men. So they feel like women need to lower the standard, which is why if you go on incel forums and despite these people having less interaction with women than literally any other demographic of human beings, uh, they feel qualified to type out these long paragraphs about which relationships would be best for a woman. It's basically just the evolved form of like the fat fedora tippers talking about how milady would be so much better off with a gentleman like them instead of uh, like a, 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 a swagget or like a thug with their pants around their ankles or whatever bullshit these people would get angry over. Um, but it's basically like the evolution of that social trend, you know? Racism? Oh, yeah, incels are racist as shit. Of course. Hey, excellent move from Austin. That little bit of his was good for views. All right, now it's time for them to meet. I'm sure they are dying to see each other. All right. Are you ready to meet? Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm in for it now. <laughs> that guy asking the question laughed like he already knew that this was supposed to be the result of the video. Though I'm sure most of us could have guessed that. What's cracking? Yeah, they're clearly not that into each other. It's an internet show. The tension is part of the entertainment. <clears throat> you know, I was really nice to you. <laughs> You're just really rude. <laughs> what did you find on this phone? I just a lot of... Screenshots, naked women. I don't have naked <laughs> photos. They're they probably like, yeah. a little bit risque, but like, you know. Did you even find my risque photos? 100%. Yeah. You actually look better in person. Your selfie game is a little like... 100%. needs work. My photos yeah. are garbage. Do you see how this guy was able to self-criticize by saying his photos look like crap? But she doesn't make the connection on how it's hypocritical that she criticized him for having sexual photos on his phone? No! <laughs> She didn't criticize him for having sexual photos on his phone. She criticized him for having screenshots of other Instagram women on his phone. He can't, he doesn't, he, he doesn't, he doesn't know. He can't, he, he doesn't understand. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. This feels like a bit that's getting old. This is this guy. And by the way, like, people flock to content like this. This guy gets like a third of a million to half a million views on like most of his videos, which come out like once a week, basically. 
like it, it's a it, it's a pretty large viewer base, larger than mine, and it's um it's it's basically just about like, I mean it's basically just like hating women. Like that's that's the whole how feminine teaches women to be undesirable. Trans activists are trying to bully straight men into dating trans women. Hour fourteen minutes, by the way. Um, man forced to pay a hundred thousand after ex wife lies and family and results of modern feminism. Stop enabling addicts. Where we have I assume something about women overeating. 16-year-old single mother with two children. Why woke comedians are funny. This is what happens when you speak out against the cult. The cult being, no doubt, the woke mob. Mainstream media, fresh. Woo! When she does the same thing? I mean, Chloe, come on. I'm really trying to be fair here and say at least one good thing about you like I try to in all my other videos. Uh, but I can't find anything. Trying so I've hard the video to be charitable. Like five times now looking for something good, and the most positive thing I could find was simply her being realistic about him not wanting someone with a kid. Would you two go on a second date with each other? No. <laughs> not even like a little, like a quick coffee. No. <laughs> no. I mean, no. I think you're nice. I think you're funny. Yeah, yeah. You're just a little rude. Just. A lot, <laughs> but definitely not each other's type. And like, yeah, I have I mean, a kid, and if that's like an absolute no, then that, then goodbye. Geez, can you say just one positive thing about this guy without mixing it with something negative? Uh, you're really funny, but you're rude. She says this while the they were talking about the reasons why they wouldn't go out on a date together. What? It, do you, I feel like this guy is like spiritually a woman because this guy is such a fucking nag. Holy shit. Can you imagine being um being like wedded to this person? Like, oh my fucking you get like an armchair psychology lecture every time you make a face at him. Any face. Yeah, he's very catty. Very mean girls. Very, very cuts holes at the chest of other women's shirts type deal. At the same time being completely oblivious to her own behavior. Chloe was incredibly rude during this video. Both of them were rude, but even so, Austin was quite a bit nicer, and a lot of his behavior was just in response to hers. You get back the end. I've noticed another pattern with this channel is that the title refers to some really broad thing, but the video itself is only about hating like one specific woman or like one or two. Like, so the title, Why Dating 2020 Sucks, feels like it's like this broader subject discussion, but the video itself is just about like, let's hate this one particular woman, you know? Because the only thing these guys are actually interested in, it's not systemic analysis. The real tragedy is that dating in 2022 does suck. And you can talk about why it sucks. There are reasons you can talk about that. There are solutions. There are subjects worthy of discussion here. But they don't want that. The audience doesn't want that. The audience wants to hate women. So all the titles are just going to be like a framework to get you to dive into hating women like how to get a man to divorce you here's a question do you guys think this is actually about the broader subject of what women do in order to deliberately prompt a divorce or do you think it's about one woman maybe this woman being an asshole possibly feminists are now complaining about the problems they created do you think this is about the entirety of the failings of like the second or third wave feminist movement the problems they create or do you think it's like this woman being an asshole or something like it, it, this is going to be all these videos. It's basically like cringe compilations, except they're not even compilations. This is what fascists do all the time. Well, this is what morons do all the time. It's very, very common for reactionaries because um, reactionaries, basically by definition, don't have solutions to the problems they present. Like they don't, they're not interested in systemic analysis. They don't care about politics like in a deliberate, effective sense. What they care about is emotion and uh, cultivating certain emotions towards certain groups of people. And for that, this is effective. But anyway, I, I continue. Energy that you give off, Chloe. But I guess it's good that she didn't flip out about him not wanting a single mom. Again, though, this is why I don't like dating apps. I think they encourage this kind of negative behavior, particularly in women, because they have like 10 times as many options as guys do. Are you looking for love? Yes. I mean, I'm single, so I am on dating apps. I talk to lots of guys. When you talk to a lot of guys and have an obscene number of options, people tend to get overly picky or paralyzed from the overwhelming amounts of choice. Then you add in the... So this right here is not untrue. It is absolutely true that men massively outnumber women on basically all dating apps. Um, and 
that as a result, women have far more options, and that does make them pickier. That is not untrue. It's impossible to argue against that. The fact that you have very limited information on these choices, so you'll look for factors that are irrelevant to the ability to foster a good relationship, like how good a guy is at taking selfies, instead of focusing on whether your personalities match or not. Back in the day when relationships were... So this is actually the opposite of what's true. So as a general rule, when you have more options available to you, you can be uh, more scrutinous. You can scrutinize the options you have better. It's the opposite. Men, because they get fewer matches, are more likely to go after traits that aren't actually conducive to a good relationship. Since women have more options on these apps, they're the ones who have the freedom to be more picky and thus to discern more uh, what they're actually interested in. Um, whereas guys tend to like go with what they can, basically. Why do I always take my earbuds out when I talk? Because it helps me hear what I sound like, and that helps me um, modulate my tone properly. More successful, people used to find their relationship partners through their social groups. This way, instead of meeting a bunch of randos on the internet, your friends and family would vet your partners for you by using their network, which adds the context of personality into the process. What? Adds the context of... Per I don't know what that means here. But uh, Continue, I guess? Yeah, that means you'll have fewer choices, but the choices you do get will be much higher quality, so less of your time is wasted. And like I said, having an overwhelming number of choices is not a good thing. That tends to give people a pessimistic or dismissive attitude. They don't feel the need to put in the effort because they can be on a date with someone else tomorrow. That framing for the date matters. Oh, I get it. This only makes sense because he's referring to women. I was trying to think there for a second. I was like, wait, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Wasn't one of the problems here that men don't have enough options? And then he was talking about how we need fewer. And it's like, oh, because he means women. There are benefits and there are downsides to increased ease of dating or whatever. The thing is, like, for people who date often on Tinder and in person, like, it's not as though the in-person factor changes a lot of the outcomes of these dates, right? Like, if you're going down to your local club to fuck a bunch of people, or, like, you hook up with a new person every week from, like, your local bar or whatever, which some people do, you know, the boomer methods of, of hooking up, like, whatever, you know, classic, um, you're going to run into the same issues with, like, not fully developing these relationships or whatever. The thing is, like, different people want different kinds of relationships at different points in their lives, okay? If people want to, like, just fucking hook up or whatever, Tinder is pretty great for that, you know? Um... Like, uh, it, maybe not straight guys, uh, because they're kind of out, you know, they're, they're sort of outnumbering everyone else in that app, but generally speaking, uh, can be useful for that. Um, I think it's worth noting, though, that a lot of the bullshit with Tinder is, like, actually, how do I put this? The guy's fault. Guys outnumber women on Tinder, like, eight to one, which means that if you, as a guy, choose not to use a dating app, there are proportionally going to be more women looking for relationships in real life than men will in your area. Or to put it to put it another way, like if we're to assume that people who use Tinder are less invested in IRL methods of dating, by setting down the phone as a straight guy, your odds or better are better than they would have been uh, 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 if if nobody had Tinder at all. So a lot of this is really just like which social outfits you want to go through, which mediums that you want to engage in. The fact of the matter is, a lot of people just spend quite an assumption TBH. Well, no, it's true just based on who uses these apps. The issue is that a lot of people meet their friend groups online these days. The metrics by which people used to meet up aren't as present or as developed or as used as what used to be the case. I mean, if you want to go look for like relationships, IRL, you can do that. But do you think the people who are watching this YouTube channel are going to go and do that? You would have to prove that online daters are less likely to find dates IRL. Well, I, it's reasonable to assume that online daters are, um, aren't more likely. At the very least, we're talking about like a null effect. Um, but I think it's, it's reasonable to believe that people who like use Tinder as their primary mode of dating um, wouldn't be going to bars as much. Dating apps foster long-term satisfying relationships. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with dating apps. I'm only saying, like, if you want to return to tradition and meet people, like, in real life, you can still do that. It, it, it works. You can do that. That's possible. There are problems with dating culture, but I think, I think less of it has to do with apps like Tinder than we think.
you know? Because you can always just not use it. ...matters because framing is everything. For those of you who don't know what framing is, framing is basically how you present an idea. Speaking of cut and the importance of framing, there's another social experiment they did where people in the fashion industry rated people's appearance. You can watch how these two professionals say pretty much the exact same thing to these people, but get different responses. The reason they get different responses is all in the framing. Watch this scene where they comment on a guy who is wearing really ugly pants. We'll start with the woman first, who was a former model. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I'm wearing purple funky pants. Yes, they are funky, all right. It doesn't go together. Shows me that you're very comfortable, but stay comfortable in your house. Damn, your insight is very good in some situations, but- I like the pants, because they show confidence, and that's the main characteristic that I find attractive. Honestly, like, I don't give a flying fuck if this is- That's what I'm saying. You got- you got me, Holmes, okay? That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Absolutely. It's just like my drip, and I still love myself, so. Yep. I can oh, God! Fuck yes! All right. Tell. Wow, that was pretty bad. Now, personally, I- Was it? Was that bad? I'm excited. Agree with what she said, but the problem is that he didn't accept the idea, and he actually got pissed off at her feedback. We're, we're, we're seeing the blowback of incel logic. He also doesn't like confident men. There we go. This guy, this, this guy's living in an opposite world. They hate confident men. They hate, it's the same reason that like super insecure, like Twitter lefty dipshits hate me because they hate the confidence, okay? That was a perfect reaction, okay? Cause, Cause he's got the Chad brain, you know? Let's see how Funky Pants Guy responds to the modeling scout. Hi. Hi there. Let's take a look and see how your walk is and then we can determine whether or not maybe runway might be a good thing for you. Can you smile? Okay, a lot of work to do on him for runway. That is true. I mean, listen, if we lost the pajama pants and the extra large jacket on him, he could absolutely go out to clients with a good haircut. Thank yeah. you. You got it. Nice meeting you. You too. Do you see how much different the response was when Funky Pants Guy was told his outfit didn't look good? Listen to what the modeling scout said. You have no charisma. It's extraordinary. This guy can't read any, this guy can't read any social signals at all. There's, there's, there's no ability to, to fathom the second guy was way nicer about it. The 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 model guy re there were there was nothing wrong with any of these engagements at all. Nothing bad happened here. The job of the professional model and the talent scout is not to coddle the participants. It's to give humorous evaluations for an for a web show. And they both did their job. Nothing happened here. The only thing noteworthy here is the confidence of the guy in the pajama pants which is great nobody is the bad guy here everyone is fine uh, change your hair don't wear that jacket and those pants suck he actually criticized pajama pants guy more than the lady did but instead of telling him to fuck off like he did with the woman he actually thanks the modeling scout which means he is way more likely to take the advice from the guy whereas with the woman he is definitely it, the, sh the show isn't about taking advice it's about an interaction for a web show it it's it, it, it's not it, the the point. Okay, do you think he's going to change the? So, so is this guy implying that he would change his pants because the guy said it, but not because the girls? He's not going to change anything. He's confident. It, he's fine with how he is. It's he, oh god. It's like a person who gets angry watching The Bachelor at like the behavior of the people in there and like tries to talk about society because of it or whatever. Definitely not taking her advice. Pajama guy could just be sex -ray. No, the pajama guy didn't do anything wrong. He didn't care. The, the, the basic social interaction in both instances demanded different responses. The, the woman, the former model, paused after her criticism and evaluation, prompting a response from the guy. The guy had nothing to do but to affirm his confidence in his appearance, which is what he did. Whereas it looks like he got a barrage of comments from the guy, which ended with a positive affirmation. A positive affirmation from the talent scout makes it difficult for him to respond with some refutation of the uh, disapproval of his jacket or his pants. This is just so like social interactions one on one. Listen to the end of his evaluation by the talent scout. If we lost the pajama pants and the extra large jacket on him, he could absolutely go out to clients. 
See, it's addressed at the camera, not at the guy. The guy's not going to interrupt this address at the camera, which is clearly a closing remark, and then go like, nah, I like my walk, and I like my hair, and I like all my clothes. It's an end statement. There's nothing wrong here. There's no fundamental difference. Whereas, look at the end statement with the model, or a former model, or whatever. Wow. But honestly, like, damn, your insight is very good in some situations. But honestly, like, I don't give a flying fuck. They're looking at each other. This isn't the end segment. They're still discussing stuff. Like, nothing here happened incorrectly. This is a discussion between the two of them. Not an end statement directed at the camera, like this part. There's no... It, there's no, no understanding of how humans interact with each other. Jesus. ...means he is way more likely to take the advice from the guy, whereas with the woman, he is definitely not taking her advice. Framing matters. Just like the method that you use to find relationship partners matters, just like how you begin an interaction matters. I mean, look at the difference in how these two introduce themselves. Hello. Hi. Do you feel comfortable ranking people's attractiveness? Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> like my parents would say, I don't know what it's like to be shy. But that really helped me a lot with my modeling career. Do you think anywhere in any of this guy's videos, when just sort of incidentally using examples of behaviors, he has a positive example from a woman? Like, it's very obvious that the only reason we're supposed to feel this way about these interactions is because the woman's a woman, the guy's a guy, right? Like, there's no fucking way this guy would ever pull out, like, a contrary example. I modeled for about six years, but now I'm a mother of five, and hey, this is me now. A little negative and a little self-centered. She's a professional being brought on to give her professional opinion. What? Wait, self-centered? What? She's being asked about herself. Not terrible, but not optimal. I don't think she's not a bad optimal. person like I do with Chloe, but she is severely outclassed in communication skills by comparison to the modeling scout. Let's see how he- Wow, maybe that's because a modeling scout is an agent whose job it is to sell people's performances to, uh, 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 to venues, whereas a model is a model. He introduces himself. Tell me what you're doing here today. Today, I'm going to determine who's going to be marked. I have no idea, Shu. It's just another, like, venue to complain about women. I have no idea why we're on this. Marketable for modeling in the fashion industry. How do you measure someone's attractiveness? I've been scouting models for several decades now. Whoa, very self-centered. Nobody asked him what his job was. Ooh, whoa. Uh, like, it's a joke, but obviously if he was a woman, that's exactly what the incel would say here. C yeah. Now, I'm going to be looking at height first, size second. Not are they good looking. Everybody's good looking in their own way. I'm just here to determine whether or not somebody can make money doing it. I like how he answered that question because what it communicates is that he's looking out for the person he's criticizing. He does say it sarcastically, but what he essentially... If, if, you, if you say it sarcastically, then that... It was pretty obvious from his tone that he doesn't actually believe everyone's beautiful. He's a modeling agent. That was like gay man speak. Like there was obviously like everyone's beautiful in their own way because he's not going to like attack the appearance of a person for the web show. He's basically saying like, yeah, of course some people are hot and some people aren't, but like I'm going to focus on the stuff that isn't their appearance today. Yeah, if a woman had said something like that, this duplicitous bitch. Yeah. What actually says is, yeah, there are a lot of people who are more attractive than others, but what I'm going to do is figure out what the most attractive thing about you is and help you highlight it, which is what he does this whole video. That energy of, I care about you, is a big part of the reason why he gets better responses from people. He didn't... Okay. It also affects how he introduces himself to the people he's giving feedback to. This guy looking for a daddy? Yeah, and this is why people fall, like, fall for Jordan Peterson. This guy's desperate for a father figure. What does this have to do with dating in 2022? That's a great question, Shu. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea what anything in this video has to do with dating in 2022. It really just seems like this guy wanted to, to just found more videos where he wants to complain about women, which I imagine is the theme of the entire channel. Get over there and hit your mark. Give us a spin. Nobody comes out wearing that outfit and isn't trying to show off and make sure that everybody sees her. What's your name? I'm Joanna. Have you ever tried to get into this industry? I have not. Holy no. shit, she's tiny. In this industry, because of your height, that's going to be the first thing that's going to take you, you down. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hi. How old are you? 26. What's your name? Tyler. You do have a great face. Those big, giant brown eyes. I like that you got the scruff going on. 
I would say if you were going to get into this industry, you would need to grow a little bit taller. <laughs> very high energy, very positive. Seems like he's happy to see people and comes in with strong. Like, it seems like the last third of this video is literally just here's a web show in which a, a 40 year old man whose job it is to be a charismatic agent is more charismatic than like a former model who's out of the job and is just like raising kids now. Like, okay. Now let's get examples of, of a woman. Be it's like, th this is just to complain about. Yeah, seriously, Shu. Shu, do you think this guy is a fan of you? I bet you this guy knows who you are. You should check his uh, Twitter and see if he follows you. Compliments that don't. And she's ESL too. Wait, is she ESL? Wait, do we know that? I mean, obviously she has a bit of an accent, but I didn't know if that was. If that if it was ES ESL, yeah. Um, if it's ESL, then like your ability to, e what is ESL? English second language. If she's ESL, then that would like definitely affect her ability to like project charisma in English. Don't sound fake. He also uses humor to lighten the mood when he's giving critical feedback. This shows that he cares about who he's talking to. Oh People God. can tell what your thoughts are without you explicitly saying them because it shows up in your expressions and your behaviors. So if you don't have the right mindset, people are going to know. Let's see how the lady does. Could you turn around a little bit? Okay. I like your dress. It looks very good on you. Joanna, you seem nervous. Are you shy? I, I guess I'm a little bit reserved. I can tell you feel intimidated. I think you have a very good smile. Thank you. You look clean. I can't believe this woman talks like a normal person. My day is being ruined by the realization that there is a woman who talks like a normal person. Thank <laughs> you. With your hair, you're trying to stay... Okay, definitely ESL. That's, that's a thicker accent than I remember, yeah. Though I have no idea where from. Young. On the facial hair, you try to look older. The combination kind of sets you off a little bit. Not as positive, not as caring, a little awkward, and people can tell that she doesn't have as strong of an interest in their viewpoints like the guy does. I'm running out of stuff to say about this. This is so fucking weird. Let me just skip ahead a little bit. Like, there's nothing wrong. Just fully ordinary interactions. Because of the way she f I had to cut this for time, but she also comments on this girl's long nails, which is met with an equally negative response. I agree with the former model. I'm not sure who started this trend, but I have never heard a guy say he is attracted to one to two inch long nails. I've pretty much heard guys say good things about every feature except for that. Where, um... We're on our, like, fourth segue. Who, who would have thought this guy wouldn't have liked this particular fashion trend? Listen, I'm not saying it has anything to do with racism. Moving on. That one. And I've always felt that those super long nails that basically cripple- Holy shit, wait, that's super cool. Wait, hold on. Okay, normally they just look awkward. Okay, this is like some- This is some, like- Dark Souls enemy shit. Okay, wait, hold on. Your ability to do any kind of work are unattractive. Anyway, let's see how the guy handles this. If I was going to get you into modeling, I would say let's take out the piercing, go for the big curls, keep everything great on the face. I don't mind the scar. Everything can be taken care of through Photoshop, but you want a number of what's- The modeling industry is so fucked up. Imagine having a problem with a scar. Scars are badass. The, mo the modeling industry is so fucked up. I remember that for a while, having a front upper tooth gap was considered fashionable. Let me see if I can find fashion model front upper tooth gap. And there were stories of young models who were using like coins and hammers to try to give themselves front upper tooth gaps, which would like send people to the doctors. Yeah, it's like it's like this. I don't know why it's so so pixelated, but you can see the. There are some people who naturally have gap teeth like that, but it's not exactly common. So a lot of it is done like surgically. It's not, it's not good. Marketable, I'd easily just say five. It's not too high, it's not too low. You would definitely be able to work in the petite market in a certain city, but no piercing. Again, he says the same things the woman did, but gets a much better response. Personally, I think this particular girl is very high maintenance and probably doesn't want feedback. Actually, I will show the nail thing because it shows just how resistant she is to critical commentary. And they, the nails, beautiful, but they're too long. To work with you. Well, too long. To work with you. Not just me, dear. People like you. Because of this resistance, she still probably won't take the modeling scout's advice either, 
but the better odds of her listening were with him. And did you see... Wait, how can you say that the guy is better because she's more likely to listen, but then the girl, then he's like, well, she wouldn't listen either way, but still somehow the woman is more... Fo I don't even know. I am getting away with calling her a 5 out of 10? That's three points lower than the lady gave her. Eight. Okay. But you want a number of what's marketable, I'd easily just say five. How many women would be happy being called a five out of ten? We didn't see her reaction. You didn't? Hot, hot editing tip. When you're trying to compare two reactions, you should show both of them. And also, the guy was talking marketability. We didn't see what the woman's standard was. Okay. Just end the video. Please end my suffering. I can't... I, these videos take so long to go through because there's something to pause on every, like, 10 seconds. Not even 10. 10 seconds is a long period of time for me letting the video play. I... I the reason he gets away with it is because he's using the communications principle on distancing people away from the critical feedback. You can see him doing this the whole video. Instead of saying, you should change this, he says, if I was going to get you into modeling, I would say, let's take out the nose piercing. The feedback is more focused on what he would do instead of directly being about her. This per if you notice, when he calls her a five, he does That's a yes. Now, it might seem stressful to learn this stuff, but to simplify- What does this have to do with dating in 2022? I- Stop. Cut the segment.